Well, good afternoon, y'all. Actually, I've just gotten in from Sunday school, and I put on my comfortable house dress and an apron, and I'm going to make some soup. It's chilly here today. It's in the 60s. It was 54 this morning when I got up. Yes, we've got really, that's good fall for Texas. So it's soup weather. Well, there was a company that had contacted me that if they would send me some of their soups, uh, would I sample some of them and tell y'all what I think about them. And it's Anderson Food Company, but it's Frontier Soups. And they sent me several different kinds. They sent me a chickpea. They sent broccoli cheese, chicken enchilada. Uh, I'll list them. I'll show y'all the ones they sent me. But the one I'm going to make this for lunch today is the chicken enchilada. And what it is, it's a freeze-dried or dehydrated base that you put into your broth. And you have stuff you mix with it, of course, and cook it for about 25 minutes and then stir your cheese in and it's done. So we're going to do an honest review of this soup. Sounds heavenly to me. And it's non-GMO, so it's, uh, it's good for us. So um, I'm not going to tell you what all I'm going to do. I'm going to make y'all come along for the ride. This won't be a real long video unless I talk a bunch. Sometimes I do that. But... Um, we're going to make chicken enchilada soup. Now, I used to like to go to Chili's, which is a, a restaurant in our area. I guess everybody has Chili's. I don't know. And they had chicken enchilada soup that I absolutely loved. So, I'm going to try this one and we'll do a comparison. Now, I've got to grate a little bit of Kobe Jack cheese. The card calls for Monterey Jack or cheddar. So, I had some Kobe Jack. I'm going to grate some of that. And um, it calls for eight cups of chicken broth, six, six eight ounce cups, six eight ounce things. So I'm going to put, there's four cups, and I didn't have any chicken broth, so I made it with better than bouillon chicken. And then I'm going to add four more cups of water. Uh-oh, I need to put some vinegar on that to get the calcium build up off. Our water has lots of calcium, and this little stream gets corroded with calcium. Let me run over to the sink to save some time. Okay, that's going to make my chicken broth, six cups, I need to add in, it calls for either uh, green, the green enchilada sauce looking stuff, or the salsa verde, and I like the old El Paso green enchilada, I have a jar of the salsa verde, but I don't need all of it, and I don't want to just use some of it. So I'm going to add this whole can in. It says a cup. This may be a little bit over, but that isn't going to hurt. A little extra flavor. And I'm going to let this come up to a, a boil. And then I'm going to add in my chicken and my mix. And I'm going to let it cook for about 25 minutes is what the directions say. And every now and then I follow the directions. Sometimes I don't. Then I'll taste it and see if I think I need to add some onion and garlic to it. But I'm going to uh, turn the camera off and let this come to a boil, and then when I start putting everything in, I'll be right back here in front of y'all. While my broth is coming to a boil, I'm going to grate me a cup of this cheese here, or a little more maybe, you know. I never think you have too much cheese, too much garlic, you can't be too rich or too thin. That's what I've heard about the rich and the thin, and I added the garlic and the cheese. But I've seen a few people that look a little thin to me, so maybe that's not true either. Maybe I should say if you're healthy and thin. I might as well go ahead and grate all this while I'm grating, because I can assure you at my house it'll be used before it ruins. We'll fill a red bean, pinto bean, or a taco craving hitting us and we'll need some cheese to go on it. I always worry about scraping my knuckles on this grater. I'm good at that. It hurts every time. It hurts every time just bad as it did the last time. I have these fancy little gloves that you can put on and they're cut proof and they work. But I don't think to get them out till I'm getting to the end of the cheese. Oh, 
All right, y'all know how to grate cheese, don't you? I'll cut this off, and I'll see y'all back here in a little bit. Okay, my water is coming up to a boil, or my broth. And the ingredients are navy beans, bell pepper, cornmeal, sweet potatoes, onion, corn, and cho chili, paprika, cumin, garlic, oregano, and coriander. Uh, coriander is the seed of cilantro, and the leaves of the cilantro are what we just call cilantro. So I'm going to add these uh, vegetables in and let them cook for 25 minutes. And I'm also going to add my chicken. Now, if you don't have canned chicken, you need to have a couple of cups of cooked chicken, which can be rotisserie, some you boil, or whatever. But I'm going to open a pint of my canned chicken, and it's going to shred in here, I know. That's all right with me because of what it is. So this is some of the chicken that I can. Remember I told y'all I got chicken the other day for 50 cents a pound? Well, that's one of the pints. And I'm just gonna break it up and let it heat with this. Also, uh, if you wanna order from this company, andersonfoods.com or food, and I'll make sure and put the link below. And there's a code if you use gay, 10. My name is Gay Jordan. Gay 10, you'll get a discount on your soup. I used to buy a soup mix years ago, and I can't remember what the company was, but it was a base, and then I added my other set. And I loved it, so this looks just like that did, so I'm thinking this is going to be wonderful to have for me to just make a little soup in the cold weather. Sometimes it just gets cool and that just says soup. On each of the bags of soup on the front, of course your bag is there with the ingredients in it, but then inside gives you the explicit instructions on how to prepare your soup. So I'm real impressed with their packaging and the recipe's not going to tear when you take the bag off. Um, I really do like it and it is AndersonHouseFoods.com. I'll put the link down below, and remember, my link for you to get a discount is Gay10. While I'm waiting for that to simmer for 25 minutes, I want to show you the soups that they sent me. They sent a, a corn chowder mix. This is broccoli and cheddar soup mix. I'm anxious to try this one. It's Southwestern Chickpea. Don't you know that's going to be good? Okay, they sent me two of the chickpeas and two of the enchilada ones so I can make a big pot, but I'm making two little pots. And then this is a uh, cornbread mix, Appalachian Trail cornbread mix, and Nana's Cheesy Baked Polenta mix. And when I do one of these, I'll do a video, but I'm not going to do them today because I'm hungry and it's just me here and I want to cook this when I have more people here to eat it. But y'all go to their website, andersonfoods.com and check out their soup, their mixes, whatever's there. And if you will use the coupon code GAY, G-A-Y, the number 10, you'll get a discount. Okay, y'all, it's been 25 minutes and I think, and I've tasted of it and the corn's soft and it seems pretty well okay. So I'm going to add in, let me get the camera and show y'all what it looks like before we add the cheese. Just a minute. See, you can see the vegetables in it, and the shredded chicken. I've got tea fixing to be ready to pour the water over it, so if y'all hear it beeping, that's what it is. I'm going to add my cup of grated cheese in and just cook it till that cheese melts. going to be creamy and yummy. And cornbread sure would be good with it, but I like cornbread when it's hot. I don't so much like it warmed up, and I don't want to make a big old pan and me just eat either eat the crunchy bottom off of all of it for my piece of cornbread, or eat a piece and the rest of it be left. Now closer to Thanksgiving, I'd put it in the freezer to make dressing out of, but not right now. All right, I'm gonna stir it some more. I don't want that cheese. Hey, to brother stick. Terry. <laughs> we got a guy at church that watches all the time, so little Richard's giving him a shout out. 
that probably woke him up from his calmness. Okay, it's just about melted. It looks pretty creamy. We'll be back to Jiffy. Okay, I've got the cheese all melted in it. Look at that. Doesn't that look yummy? The shredded chicken and the vegetables. It's got the beans and the peppers and the corn. Now you could stretch this by adding some extra corn to it or a can of beans or whatever. But I'm going to eat it like it is. So let me get some plated up and I'll show y'all my lunch. Doesn't that look delicious? We're fixing the taste of it. I've got some in my little pretty soup server here. And I'm going to see what it tastes like. And it's hot. That's delicious. That broth, I could just drink it in a cup. That's very good soup. So once you get your water or your broth boiling, 25 minutes, you're ready to go. So y'all need to go to andersonfoods.com. They've been in business since like 1983, so they know what they're doing. And look at your choices and order some stuff and use the code GAY. 10 G A Y and the number 10 and you'll get a discount and then come back and let me know if you ordered and let me know what you think about it it's delicious and I'm anxious to try the other ones so I'm going to go over here and sit down and have me a cup of soup and some crackers and I'm going to rest a little bit then I'm going to go back to church tonight and worship the good Lord he's been mighty good to me and this is his day, so I'm not working very hard today, cooking a little bit, resting a bunch, going to read my Bible a little bit, and go back and see what the what he's told the preacher to preach to me tonight. And I'm going to try to take it to heart, apply it to my life, and be a better person, and be better for the Lord. Y'all have a blessed day, and I'll see you again in a few days.